Hey guys, V here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install these QL series RGB fans from Corsair. Now, this video will go into detail about how to install these, uh, how to connect them and everything, and then also how to install the software on your PC and how to control them uh, using the software. So I currently have these Bits Power fans in my PC that I recently reviewed. Uh, they're great fans and all, but I really wanna try these Corsair fans. So I figured why not show you guys how to install them and we'll go from there. So overall, this install is pretty simple. Uh, you connect this lighting node core to your USB 2.0 port and SATA port. And then the fan RGB will plug into here on this RGB hub. This will not control the speed. The speed is still PWM and will connect to uh, basically your motherboard or a fan hub, etc. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed and I'll show you all the details. All right, now that you got your PC powered off and everything opened up, what you wanna do is start finding your cables where they run to and unplug your current fans. If you don't have any fans, you can skip this step. I'll put a timestamp down below where you can skip to directly to the install. But basically just figure out what fans uh, you want to take out. These Corsair fans are gonna replace these three right here on the other side. So I'm just gonna unscrew these and uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and unplug them because I have nine fans and I don't necessarily know which of these cables I need to unplug until that I have these out and kind of I can follow these lines. So that's how I'm gonna do it. But I recommend unplugging them first just so you have the cables out of the way. Okay, so those fans are removed. Now we can move on to installing the lighting node. Um, so first thing we're gonna look for is this USB 2.0 port on the motherboard. And usually it's right at the bottom of the motherboard. And because I have my graphics card vertically mounted, I'm gonna have to remove it. You might not have to, but um, I'll show you once I remove this, what this connection is supposed to look like on your motherboard. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see that. I'm trying to get this in focus best I can. But there's the two ports right next to each other. I'll circle them on screen. So basically this port right here off of the lighting node will plug in to one of those two. Okay, so this does come with some 3M double-sided tape that you can, you know, tape this down in the back somewhere if you don't want it moving around. So basically, let's go ahead and route these cables where we need them. So we're gonna take that cable that I showed you where to plug in, that USB 2.0 cable, and now we're gonna go ahead and route it from underneath kind of where those ports are so we can plug this in there it is so i got this through now there's only one way you can plug these in because as i showed you earlier there is one of the pins missing so it won't plug in any other way now once you figure out what way that is fold it in the way that you need it and boom that's connected. So there you go, that's how it would be connected right next to the other one. And um, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the back. Okay, we're in the back. Now you're gonna go ahead and look for a cable that looks like this one here. It's like, a, it has like a little L. It's a SATA cable for those of you that know what that is. But yeah, that's what you're gonna go ahead and look for. And off of this node core, you're gonna take it Here's the other side of it. And you're just gonna go ahead and line it up with the L. Again, this is another one, you can't really plug it in wrong. So there you go. That's all plugged in. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the fans. All right, let's go ahead and install these fans. Um, so one thing I wanna note with this case, because they're sitting in here, as you can tell the cable is on the inside. And what I wanna do is bring this cable out or both of these cables out so there's a little slot here you can just guide them through so there we go I got one the issue with that is it's gonna 
pop these out a little bit, but that's not a big deal. So here we go. I got the other one. So now they're out. And basically the reason I did that is so I can have these cables running straight through the back of the case instead of going in through the case and then out of these ports. That's just a quick note. So let's go ahead and install these. So another thing to note while you're installing these, remember that the front of the fan sucks air. The rear of the fan blows it out. So in this case, how I installed them here, I have them sucking the air from the front and blowing it out the rear. So these are technically exhaust fans. And um, basically, uh, if you wanted these to be intake, you would mount them like that. So they would suck air through the side panel here and then they would blow it into the case. I like them this way. That's how I prefer it. You can do it any way that you want. Um, again, you can see these bottom fans there. They are intake from the bottom and those up top are exhaust through the radiator and throughout the top. So there you go. So now go ahead and just start installing these um, just like you had your other ones or if you didn't have any, just go ahead and install these wherever you want. And in the interest of time savings, I'm gonna spare you the whole me screwing these in individually. So basically just like that, you just screw all four corners in and the fan is officially installed. Now you're gonna to wanna to connect everything. So let's go ahead and get into that. Okay, so there's the node we connected earlier. Now you're gonna to wanna to grab one of the RGB cables, which is like this, it's a four pin, and it's kind of a proprietary connector that fits in here. So basically just like that, just plug them all in. So one thing to note when you plug these in, keep in mind, when you're plugging in the RGBs in here, these are numbered. So I did one as the top one, two, and then three, just like that, because in the software, you're gonna go ahead and um, adjust them based on their number. So let's go ahead and find the other one. And they are labeled with these yellow um, stickers, which ones go to the hub. So this is the RGB hub. So you just plug them in all like that. And basically those are done. Of course, I'm just plugging these in just to show you you might want to route the cables a specific way and I will clean them up after the video. I just want to show you uh, all the plugging and all of that. Now, this part is a bit different. So these are PWM, like I mentioned earlier, these will control your speed and all that. These are controlled with your motherboard unless you have, I believe the Commander Pro uh, from Corsair, then you can plug them into that and then use Corsair software to connect these. In my opinion, useless because you have all the control you need through your motherboard. But some people like to stick to one software, so that's an option. So for me, these will be plugged in to my fan hub, which is mounted down here which is actually where I unplugged the other ones. They're the same exact connector like every other fan. I do have a whole video showing how to connect these into your motherboard. Uh, but in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and connect them into this fan hub and I'm gonna show you that right now. So if I lift this up, you can see the fan hub down there. Hopefully that's in focus. I can't really see cause I'm blinded by the light. So it can plug up to 10 fans. All my other fans are plugged in there. These Corsair fans will also be plugged in there. And these have a special little rail on them. And again, you can't really plug these in wrong. Um, these just kind of slide onto the rail. They are four pin, bam, and that's connected. Again, I'm sorry if it's out of focus, but that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the PC around just to show you in case you don't have a fan hub. I will link this one down in the description, but I will flip this around and show you the other side on the motherboard where you can kinda, what you can kinda look for. So this Aorus motherboard from Gigabyte has like, I don't know, five or six or <laughs> seven uh, fan headers. 
So if you look on the side here, so there's three of them on this motherboard here, which I'm not using. There's another one up there, which is for the pump, I believe. And then one right there next to that connector. And there are two more down here by the USB ports. So yeah, like I said, you can plug them in directly into the motherboard headers. They're there or wherever yours are on your motherboard. So let's go ahead and move on to the software side of things. I'm gonna show you how to install the software now and how to use that software. All right, so open up your browser. So in your browser, go ahead and type in Corsair.com. Click on software, download software. And you'll see IQ right here at the top. Click that, skip this step and download. Now it's downloading the software. We're gonna go ahead and install it just like any other software. All right, once it's downloaded, go ahead and click it and yes. And now we're gonna go ahead and install it in English or whatever your language is. Click next. I mean, I'm sure you get the gist of this and click install. And once it's installed, we're gonna go ahead and open it up and I'll show you all that. All right, it's installed. This is checkmark start uh, Corsair IQ software. Click finish, it'll open IQ up. So there you go, it already, uh, already automatically detected what we have. This is your software here. It's extremely good. You can plug in up to six of these fans into this uh, one node. So keep that in mind if you wanna buy separate fans or you can buy two, three packs, it's up to you. Uh, so let's go ahead and walk you through this setup real quick. Okay, so now this, you can just change what series fans you have and stuff like that. So for these, we have the QLs and pick how many fans are connected. So we have three. And of course you can actually um, decide which ones I actually did the top one as number one, the second one as number two, and the third one, the bottom one as number three. As you can see here on screen, green, yellow, red, green, yellow, red. So as you can see on the left side of the screen where the lights are, uh, the red one's kind of in the bottom corner. The yellow is in the bottom corner as well. So as you can see on the right side of the screen, all you have to do to flip them to match the software is to click the little um, arrows, whatever it's called, the rotation thing. So you keep rotating them until you match them up and this will help with synchronizing the lighting in the proper way. So that's that. Now click on lighting channel. So lighting setup is for the setup itself, lighting channel. So now you can see it's a rainbow wave. You can do different speeds and whatever you want. You can do the direction, all of that. Um, now let's go ahead and show you some of these. I'm not gonna show you all of them. There's so many in here, it's pretty crazy, but you can basically change them up like that where they kind of spin in uh, into each other, which is really, really cool. This is kind of why a lot of people love using Corsair stuff because you can adjust so many things. And I actually have some Corsair RAM I'm gonna throw in here just to see how well it links up and how well I can control everything. Um, but anyways, that's Infinity Rotary Stack. Let's see. That's pretty cool. So you can do alternating colors as well. So there's red and blue. You can choose two different colors. You can change the speed, of course. Um, you can do, like I said, counterclockwise if you want. So there's that. This software is very responsive, very good. Um, I highly recommend it. So, all right, let me show you some more and then we'll be done. So here's strobing course you know what that is so it just kind of does its own thing and one thing I want to show you real quick is how you can control each individual LED on the fan so you can click on any of the LEDs that you have in the fan which is why it's important to select the proper fan so in this case we got the QL fans we have four in the center and I forget how many in the in the uh, outer but regardless, anyways, you can change them, whatever color you want. So boom, that one's that. 
And then the way you can do the next one is you have to add another one and then basically select another one. So there you go. And then of course, the rear you can actually control separately as well. So there you can see the little ring in the center as well. So if you have these as like intake, um, intake fans on the bottom, kind of like I do here, then you, I would have a ring here and I might actually move those. We'll see. We'll see what I do. I might, uh, get all Corsair fans at this point. I'm not really sure, but yeah, there you go. That's front and rear doing its own thing. So pretty amazing, pretty cool. I'm really digging this. Well, there you have it. They are fully installed. That's how you install the Corsair QL series fans from start to finish. Now, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy this type of content overall, feel free to subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and all the support. I will see you in the next one. Peace.